Midsun 21st, 3247. Today, as I was traveling north on the Blood Swamp Road, I happened upon a rather interesting sight. I saw what could only be described as a sort of six-legged bear walrus looking creature pulling a wagon. I was extremely intrigued, as it's not every day I see a beast that I have not ever seen before, let alone never heard of. It was slowly trudging south toward me, and there was a somewhat fair-complected human man walking alongside it. He looked to be rather tall and fit, and I guessed he was probably of northern descent, but he was unfortunately severely scarred along the right side of his face. It looked like that perhaps he had been mauled by some beast long ago. There were multiple long slashes from the top of his face to the bottom, and the eye on that side was pure white and most likely blind. He was wearing some sort of hides as clothing and using a long double-pronged spear-like weapon as a makeshift walking stick. As I neared, he spoke a command in Ramesh, the language of the north, and the beast came to a halt. He eyed me warily, no doubt due to my unique heritage, but did not speak. After casting a simple spell so the man could understand me, I explained to him I was on my way to the city of Trollguard. He still did not speak to me, but I have to admit that was making him more alluring with his significantly scarred face and thickly fit body. He clearly noticed me eyeing him over and got a slight scowl on his face, a reaction I was not that unfamiliar with. However, when I inquired about the creature pulling his wagon, he suddenly became much more animated. He told me she was a lordess, a creature from the frozen north, and they were very well known for their loyalty and strength. I think I pretty much won the fellow over when I asked him if I could pet the Lordis. As it was nearing sundown, he mentioned he would be making camp and asked if I wanted to join him. He was warming up to me quite quickly. Midsun 22nd. I woke up with Brokar's arm draped over me. Oh, that's the Northman's name, by the way. And both our naked bodies beneath a pile of fur hides. I must admit I haven't had such a good time in weeks and I was just about to wake my new companion to see if he was interested in an encore when we were assailed by a fearsome noise. I was impressed with how fast he got to his feet, grabbed his spear-like weapon, and was out of the tent in a flash, both figuratively and literally. I followed behind him, grabbing only a pouch that held some of my spell components as I stepped into the morning sun. Brokar was already holding his spear defensively and had positioned himself between me and several armed brigands. Looking around, I could see an arrow sticking out of poor Tulip. Oh, and that's the Lordess's name, by the way. Blood was running down her rump on the right side where the arrow was lodged. And if it wasn't for me being there, I'm quite certain Brokar would have attempted to slaughter these men without a second thought. I will say that as soon as I appeared, it seemed that all eyes were on me. And while I could have summoned my armor with a thought, I figured this situation would turn out better with them distracted by my exposed charms. The men demanded money and whatever other treasure we might have, to which Brokar rather eloquently explained to them how we would shatter all the bones in their bodies. I was very tempted to step in and deal with the situation, but I was also curious to see how he would handle it. There were at least seven of them and five had bows out, arrows knocked and ready to fire. Tulip was starting to move closer to us and one of the men fired another arrow into her, this one into the shoulder of her middle leg on the right. She stayed calm though, only letting out a grunt. Brokar, on the other hand, howled in rage. Lunging forward, he impaled the lead man straight through the chest. Reaching out with my magic, I snatched a dagger from one of the men with their bows drawn and flung it into the neck of the man next to him. An arrow flew straight toward me, but then shattered to pieces when it struck the magical shield I'd just put up in front of myself. I looked back to Brokar and briefly admired his well-muscled form as he dodged to the side and then charged the next bandit in line, driving both spear tips through the man's eyes. So much blood. Oh, it was quite the sight. I looked back towards a man that was drawing back another arrow. Narrowing my eyes, I uttered the incantation for a rather potent spell. The man's arrow flew wildly as he started screaming in terror, as if he were being attacked by some long-forgotten demon. He fell to the ground, unmoving shortly after. The remaining three men broke ranks and started to flee, seeing their four comrades dead in the dirt. Brokar chased them, and I went to Tulip to soothe her with my magic and healing the wounds after I removed the arrows. He was not gone long, and when he came back to our camp, he was breathing heavily and absolutely covered with sweat and blood. 
A slow smile crept from my mouth as I looked upon his beautiful form. Licking my lips, I pulled him back into the tent for that encore I was wanting. <laughs>